Hey everybody, welcome back to Creating Scenery for Microsoft Flight Simulator. I hope you guys are doing great. I hope your Sim Update 12 went well. Um, mine did, I guess. Um, got everything updated, made sure I updated all my content and all that kind of stuff. And updated my PMDG uh, 737 all that okay so now I just want to talk about a little bit of difference it's not much in the SDK um, but you notice I'm loaded up in the sim and I am at an airport that I am getting ready to redo so let's take a look at some of the things here. I'll get into drone mode and we will go up and back and we'll just kind of look around. Yeah, it's pretty plain. All right. But I am getting ready to redo Wright Patterson Air Force Base in Dayton, Ohio. Hit insert, go back into the cockpit. Um, just a couple things that you'll probably already know by now, but if you look up and I always, I'm always in the sim and dev mode, uh, unless I'm going to fly, obviously I'll turn dev mode on that way. My log book will get, uh, updated. Uh, but 90% of the time I'm in dev mode. And if you'll look at the top menu, that shows up after sim update 12 this menu is a little different okay um, dev mode shows up here now it used to be over on the right side of the screen right up here it would say whether there was an uh, SDK uh, update available all right and it would show up in amber letters that says update available now dev mode over here in the icon next to uh, the word dev mode if there is an update there'll be a this will have an amber box around it and it'll have an exclamation point all right so to get your updates now you're simply going to hit dev mode and then click SDK uh, updates all right so that's really the only difference right here okay the other little difference is, I don't know why they did this, but oh well, it's there. There's a new file tab in the menu, okay? It used to just start with editors and all the way across. Nothing here from here on has changed, all right? But the file allows you to create a new project or open a project that you already have. All right, so now you don't have to go to editors, project editor, and then open your uh, your project. You can actually open it right here with file open project. Okay, so if you wanted to create a new project, you simply hit new project and it already goes into the project editor. That way you can start adding your uh, assets to your project all right so in my case I uh, created KFFO all right which is Wright Patterson Air Force Base all right I'm gonna cancel that so really nothing's changed uh, too much in the SDK all right so we're gonna go to uh, editor close the editor uh, the other thing that I'm going to show you I'm going to get out of the sim and show you so I'll be right back the other thing I want to show you is I always check this after an update okay so you have your you may not see it because underneath my here let me kind of bring that up a little bit for you all right under the MSFS SDK directory that's where I always install my SDK under the tools folder you're gonna see the bin folder most of you should understand already know this but after every update 
I check the fspackagetool.exe um, release or build date, okay? It still says October 11, 2022, all right? That's uh, August, sorry, August 11th, 2022. And I compare that with my projects. So if I go over here to MSFS projects, my scenery projects, and let's just say I open up an airport, okay? Uh, open up a project, go into like the Columbus John Glenn International Airport. I always copy an FS package exe into the directory so I can build outside of the sim. All right. Now, this particular, I haven't done a build on this for a while. Actually, I did. Huh. Anyway, I try to make the habit of um, replacing the F fs package tool.exe in my projects when I rebuild them so I'm rebuilding them with the most current fs package tool exe all right so if you notice now I did build the John Glenn International Airport the buildings with and I just did this last week. <laughs> the FS package tool from January 14th, 2021. All right. And I built it and it brings it into the sim just fine. No real big. Uh, there's I had no compatibility issues whatsoever. OK, but to be safe. All right. Normally what I do is after every update is I check the bin tools uh, package, the FS package tool.exe, and notice that it's August 11th, 2022. And usually what I'll do is I just simply take this FS package tool and I drop it into my project and overwrite the older version. Okay, replace. All right, so now when I go into the buildings folder, now it has the August 11th edition of the EXE, the most recent build, all right? Now, like I said, the buildings I built last week using the uh, 2021 version of the EXE, and I hadn't seen any compatibility issues with the SIM, all right? But... I forgot to change that, I guess. All right. But usually I check the version of the package tool EXE after every SIM SDK update. And then I copy that into the current folder that I'm working on. Now, yeah, I'm a little behind, obviously, and I didn't notice I was using 2021's executable. But it still works. It was still fine. Um, but just in case, use the... Uh, most recent package tool exe all right so anyway i hope your everybody's sim updates went well and i will hey here's my commercial if you haven't already please subscribe uh hit that notification bell share comment all the other bells and whistles that they tell us to do to go around the algorithm and stuff and if you feel inclined to support me on this channel and my scenery uh design and stuff like that buymeacoffee.com slash my physical world i also have a patreon page uh, which is patreon.com slash my physical world and I also have a gumroad page where I'm going to be uploading some free content for you or you can make a donation I, I, I won't reject that thank you very much but that's uh, myphysicalworld.gumroad.com hey and I will see you guys on the next video see you later